Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. We're your host Kirby King and Black Superman, also known as David Clark and Walter Bryant. And today we're talking about finally Attack on Titan 51, 52, and the OVA. Yeah. Now before I get to that, um, David pointed out that I, I, I wear the same jersey a lot, uh, like a whole lot. Go so. back and watch all our videos. <laughs> There's so. like four different shirts. Yeah, so today I'm wearing something I don't think I've ever worn for a video. You and probably if, did. And if I have, then, oh well. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, oh yeah, real quick. I know we kept saying that we were going to review before the fall. We have just read it. It was terrible. We don't like it. I mean, it, it gives you some decent information, I guess, maybe. But it's really boring. Yeah. I mean, really, really it, it, boring. It's boring, and the people in there, are just they just suck, and... I'm, it doesn't feel like the same writer. Yeah, it doesn't feel like the same writer. I, I feel like they tried to branch out too quickly on the hype of Titan. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to keep reading it to see if it gets better. He's he's dropped it already after the first two chapters. I mean, I might like you won't around issue don't, four or something. Yeah, I'm really don't not. Lie I'm, I'm not. If he says it's okay, then I might come back to it. Yeah. But otherwise, so keep watching to see if he yeah. says come back. To It'll it. be like Log Horizon. It sucked the first episode, but it got better. It got better. Um, so, 51 and 52. Recap us. Okay. Um, we all know that in 50, Aaron found out he can control Titans. In 51, they said, okay, we're going to tell you how we're going to help you, how that's going to help us um, to control the Titans and fix the walls and whatever else. And then they really don't talk about it in anything else other than to say, we have an idea. Yeah. And then... 50, 52 comes around and then they start talking about how Krista becomes Krista instead of who she was the born story, as. Yeah. yeah, so and and it really is actually the whole recap. Yeah, um, that's I mean not really much happens. You find out that she never talked to her mom more than just that one time and then her dad was all like, I don't know how they, these women and then they kill her mom and she's like then for somehow he's like, Wait, um you just be Krista now? Instead yeah, of being like, you and then you'll live for some reason? Her mom hated her and yeah. wish she was never born. And so like his squad's angel because they they all love Krista. Like, mm -hmm. oh my god, your life sucked. I mean, really not as bad as everybody else's life. Like, not as bad as say like like an Aaron's life, but you know, sad. Uh, her life kind of sucked. I mean, it, it kind of sucked. Aaron's was a little worse. Aaron's was a lot worse. Mikasa's was even more even worse or were. because <laughs> <laughs> no, see, but see, Mikasa um, shares Aaron's life plus was kidnapped and almost raped by a bunch of people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. And Aaron's like, you and need to kill. lost her first family. Yeah. And then pretty much lost all her second family. Except for Aaron, which is why she's so psycho over Aaron. And she wants to get in his pants. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And now, she's the man in that relationship. She really real. is. She really <laughs> is. Um, like, she, she's the woman and the man. Because she does the crying and the saving. Which yeah. is really embarrassing for Aaron. But... So yeah, uh, that's not that's not much really happened. Uh, one thing I'm glad about though is that so far, Armin is not a Titan or a betrayer at some kind of thing. So far, so far. But I know some of our commenters still are still holding out that he's the monkey. Titan he's done or, some, or, or, his, or his grandpa is. Titan, yeah, 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 yeah. Or, yeah, they never said his grandpa died or showed it. He said he just said that he missed him. Mm -hmm. He went outside the wall and we never saw him again. Like Aaron's dad, who I'm sure is something. I'm sure Aaron's dad's probably just walking around somewhere hanging out. Right. He probably like he probably made the Titans or something. Some some bull crap. Yeah, like <laughs> like he's the king of all Titans. He's not a Titan himself. He's like right. hit, like Hitler or something. You right. Know? He's just sitting he on the throne. He convinced him to yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean that's that's really all that happened. Uh, we then we, we then watched uh the OVA with which I believe it's called Ilsa's Journal. Yeah, it's that. Um, there's there's right, right. like a there's like an arc in I think like thirty six or something like that. Yeah, and, and it, it's very small, like one chapter thing where they where um, this girl named Ilsa or whatever her name was. Yeah, she, I'm pretty sure it's Ilsa. She though. she meets um she her entire squad gets wiped out, and then while she is trying to make it back inside the walls by herself, she runs into a titan, and this is the first time they ever meet a titan that can speak or that a right. human's met a titan. Real that can quick speak. though. We gotta give her, you know some props to the Survey Corps because they are not regular human beings. This chick is running for like four days and writing. I mean, even to the point where you know her head was in the Titan's mouth. She's like, right, right. Oh. <laughs> but she kept writing though. Yeah, yeah. I would not be she, writing. She might have written another sentence after her head <laughs> <back> a bit <laughs> off. 
<laughs> but I mean, that that was pretty cool. Except, okay, yeah, for as powerful yeah, as, that, as the survey yeah, killer are, and as, as great as she was, she yelled at the Titan. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You you don't understand what I'm what I'm getting at here. He does. Mm. He she, the Titan bows down to her. Yeah, he's your mirror's people. Bows down, stops looking at her, not doing anything. Instead of getting up off her happy butt and leaving, climbing a tree which she knows they can't do, whatever, something, she yells at it. Why are you eating us? The Titan looks at her and is a little confused. So she yells at it again. Why are you eating us? The Titan starts clawing his face. So she yells at it again. And it eats her. Yep. I mean, he was nice. He put her body in a tree. I mean, that's cool, right? That's better than being alive. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, other than that, you know, we see uh, we see the, like the first time they captured the Titan. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Hanji uh, chokes that one guy. He was biting his tongue in the series. It was pretty cool. Like, hey, look, you're alive currently. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She she like almost killed him like three times. Yeah, as she was trying to explain to him that he needed to live. Yeah, it was funny. There's one part where where he was getting ready to kill the Titan that uh, Hanji wanted to capture, and she was like, "No, no!" And so he hesitates, and the Titan captures him. And then I remember you were like, "Oh, he's dead." I'm like, "No, no, no, no! He lives through this. He dies in the same forest later." <laughs> like, oh yeah, I totally for and yeah, I, I totally forgotten that. So yeah, they save his life, and then she explains in this really really psycho voice. Okay. I've only seen a good guy go psycho like this one other time, and it mm -hmm. was when in Superman vs. the Elite, where... Awesome. We are, we're recording. Yeah. In Superman vs. the Elite, where Superman, um, after he's fighting the Elite, and they think they've won, he suddenly like goes, I now understand. Yeah. <laughs> I think that I've been treating you like humans when all the while you needed to be treated like beasts. And for just a split second, you get really, really scared of Superman. Mm -hmm. The same thing happens with Hanji. She's like, you know, I think dude is like mouthing off to her. And she suddenly grabs him by his throat mm -hmm. and lifts him up and then starts telling him to his face, to beat an opponent, you have to get inside their head. You have to know them. And he's dying while yeah. he's doing this. Like, he didn't hear not one word of that. He was like, oh. <laughs> but, but, like, I, I don't think she's doing it to understand. I think she's in love with the Titans. Like, her mom must have been part of that Titan cult worshiper people. Because really she's cool. like, she like blushes when she thinks of Titans. Like, I don't think she's doing it just to understand them. A little bit. I mean, she's yeah, a little she, bit, but she, I, think, I think she's got an ulterior motive. Yeah, she she may actually be hoping to become a titan or something like that, or she may right. she may she may also be a titan. I mean, at this point now, you can pretty much say that half of humanity could be traitors. Right. And now, now back to Yamir's people thing. I'm I'm assuming that means Yamir told the titans to not attack the humans, which says why are they why are they still doing it? I don't know. I mean, she she did appear to have some a small amount of control, but she's also a very small titan. So maybe the 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 size and class depend gives you a, a certain amount of ability. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe. or maybe Aaron's subconsciously controlling them to come attack. No, that was definitely that that, that was no. Because remember, like, yeah. ever, like ever since the uh, his dad hit him with this stuff, he's been he's he's technically had that ability. Yeah. No, he got the. Injunction after his mom died, right? Right. Right. Okay. So er everything since then, let's just say it's Aaron, it's Aaron's fault. And <laughs> I think somebody, even though Aaron is right now only just now finding out he's got this ability, somebody else knows because Aaron didn't seem to be that important. I mean, like if I, he was the first human you figured out was a Titan, mm. but he didn't seem to be that important. Like they are letting people die to get Aaron back. Every single time, right. and he's—I mean—he's powerful. But there are other Titan humans who are walking around with you. So why is Aaron so important? Why are they killing each other to go get Aaron? Because somebody knows he has that ability. Oh, I mean, on the other side, on like, the Titan side? No, no. Some well, the Titan side too. Cool. But I'm saying somebody high up knows he has that, or knew, or knew he had that ability before he found out himself. I don't know. I think they were just saying, look, he's the only Titan that we know that's also human that we can control and trust. Remember, Ymir, they found that out on the field. Yeah. So, I mean, at the point, after, you know, Aaron had sealed that wall, Aaron, Aaron was the reason they, humanity first, like, gained land mm -hmm. since Titans had become a thing. So, he was, like, their most important resource just for the fact that he was a Titan. 
Now this other stuff is just added bonus. Now I believe the Titans wanted him just because he was another human Titan. Yeah, I believe that. But but see the thing is is like it's nice that he's a Titan and he gives them some amount of advantage, but he keeps losing. Yeah, but badly. But see when he loses, he's out of the game for like five minutes. When humanity loses, they're just gone. That's true. That's true. That's <laughs> that. I, like, I gotta give you that. <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's like he may suck at fighting, but his recovery time is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Not that last time. That last time it took him forever to get his well, arm back. Well, because he he kept transforming and he was just all nub. He's like, I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> With my little nubby hands. <laughs> no hands. Yeah, no hands. <laughs> I had tiny arms and a big head. So awkward. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, and now with the the, the Titan control thing, he's he's obviously more dangerous. Now I think, I mean, if, if anyone on the Titan side knows, it's probably the Monkey Titan. He probably knows. Like he probably knows what's up. The Monkey Titan seems to know everything. everything. He seems yeah. to be super highly intelligent because he can speak. He's like Gorilla Grodd Titan. For yeah. those of you who actually read uh, American they, 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 comics, then that doesn't know, know who he is. Yeah, you know who he is. He fights the Flash sometimes. You know that doesn't make no make no sense. <laughs> like. How? How he can he can think faster than the flash? No, he can't. He really can't. He really can't think faster. Hey, than the he could think faster. He can't apply the thought. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's off topic. That's that's for a whole other conversation. But yeah, so that's what's going on in Titan right now. We're kind of kind of underwhelmed. Yeah. The good news is the Attack of Titan original opening theme song is at the top of the charts in Japan. Woo! For like the millionth straight week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way. Um, Again, we've been answering people's uh, comments and stuff. Thank you. Keep commenting. We'll keep answering. We all agree Gal Gadot sucks. Yeah. Um, we've been reading the comments in the video. Yeah, we, we, we agree that she doesn't look like Wonder Woman. Um, I think he and I hold out a little more hope than you guys do that she might be able to do this. Uh, Not a whole lot more. No. Like, 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 a little, a little bit. A little bit. Now, oh, just a quick reminder. She did die like a boss, though. She did. She was like, let go. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> but, uh... Just so you guys know, uh, just to reiterate, um, because of the new Google Plus YouTube rules, we cannot receive messages or respond to comments. So what we're doing is we're going under our our real actual names. real names, Walter Bryant and David Clark. Um, our icons are the logo, which you see right here at the top right. Um, so, you know, look at that logo and our name. That's us responding. Uh, just so you guys don't think we're not responding or ignoring you yeah no and, and like lately we've been going back and looking at old videos where you guys have responded because like with some of the older videos we haven't we we just really hadn't thought about the fact that maybe people were giving us responses so we went back we looked and we found a whole bunch of responses yeah. so we're going back and responding so please don't think we're ignoring you we will get to you right um nothing we're doing before the year's over we will be doing a top 10 anime 2013 video because there were some good ones there were some not good ones. There were some terrible ones. There was at least 10 good ones, though. And for our fans who want us to watch Kill a Kill, I tried. I watched more than the first episode. I can't. I can't, but I tried it for you. <laughs> I watched the first episode. I, I have a wife and three kids. <laughs> He he has he has just himself, so he has a little more patience with that type of stuff. Like, see, I I need you to grab me right now. <laughs> I don't have time to waste my yeah. time with trying to get into it. So uh, it, uh, yeah, uh, and then you know we're writing we're writing comic books and stuff. But we 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 do not have time for that. No, you, I mean you you, you got to be good. Yeah, but but just a heads up though, one of that, that will be on the list. Kirko's Basketball Season Two. I'm gonna get this man to watch it. He's against sports animes. They're going Prince to Prince of Tennis. They're going to the Winter Cup, Walter. Prince of Tennis. Walter, it's the general. There was some of soccer anime I watched once. Oh my god. No, this, is was, you, you this is better. You better be. Now, for those of you who have followed us from Codenamed Epic and Day Zero, we are in the works of reopening those. Uh we have a, a popular video series we did on Codenamed uh, called uh, the Top 100 Anime of All Time. We are going to continue that. An exact timeline is not available right now because that, that's, that's requiring a lot of other people to come back and get their act together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we are going to be reopening uh, those two channels. Uh, Day Zero is going to be for just tech related talk and Codenamed Epic will be for just strictly anime talk. 
uh, offshoot will be just comics. Um, but we go off topic, so you'll probably you'll get still get anime. Yeah, and you'll, 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 I mean, you'll even if we're not on code named, like we're talking about Titan. That's yeah, yeah. That's going to happen. <laughs> oh, and then while we're at it and introducing things that are about to happen, um, we're going to have a game show coming up very soon. Yeah, uh, we're not going to talk about the details of it yet because we haven't gotten it fine tuned yet. Each team needs to have one person for games, comics, and anime. Get your crew together. It's going to be <laughs> stuff. You're so, going to enjoy it. Yeah, but um, that's it for now. We went a little off topic, but then again. That's what we do. That's what we do here. Until next time, we bring your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey, guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer them, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not-so-great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Thanks. Till next time, we'll be your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.